Okay, great. We I, are now. Sorry. <laughs> I said, I, sorry. Oh, I said I was going to record it and then I bailed. So Every my time. bad. We are recording now. Okay, great. I'm not going to start right. over. We had a roll call. We approved the meeting minutes from March and we're moving on. Right, right. And the, uh, the TLDR of the come try LARP item is uh, I've made progress. We're still waiting uh, to hear from three lands. We just uh, contacted the fourth land now by speaking with David. Um, and uh, we will hopefully have that to 100% shortly. Um, if not, I honestly think we're, we're at a point, at least for phase two, we've heard from everybody we need to hear from. So um, uh, if we proceed with phase two, that's, we're good there. Uh, and um, but that's a, another topic, so we'll wait for that one. And yeah, that's where I'm at at Come Try Lark. We're, we're getting very close. We, um, oh, uh, Exotic Valley uh, has gotten into um, Come Try Lark too. I know we wanted to Good. make sure we didn't forget them. Good, so, I wanted to uh, ask. They are in, yeah, yeah. So they're in, into Come Try, uh, Come Try Lark. They have an awesome heraldry, um, really love it. And I also included a link to that status sheet actually in the meeting notes. So if people want to follow along, it's color coded and formatted and da 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 da. And that's my update on Come Try Lark. And then what about the West March uh, page? Wasn't there going to be like yeah. a, a West March Kingdom page as well? Right. Yeah. So um, the West March Kingdom page, that is, like I said uh, from the last meeting, likely to be several weeks, possibly a month or two before that's resolved. Um, there's, but they are aware of that bug, uh, to where basically our, our kingdom page isn't showing up. And to be fair, nobody's kingdom page is currently showing up. So we're not the only kingdom facing this problem. Um, and then, uh, but they hope to have that resolved too. And then there is one final bug they're looking at resolving. They just met about it last, uh, week or two ago, um, regarding the fact that when you go to the AMP guard section of Come Try LARP, it lists one or two Belgrath groups in there. Um, they are going to be fixing that uh, as well. So um, that one ball is in their court and um, that's about all of the news I have for that. Awesome. So um, I'm going to say we'll probably table this item then and pick it up again at our next meeting in April. Yep. Anyone opposed to that? Great. Okay, so we'll table that. And Amanda, thanks for all your work on that. Um, let's go on to kind of the meat and potatoes of really what we've been working on diligently, and that's the Facebook advertising. Um, kind of what I have is uh, Brianne, have you coordinated with Amanda as far as numbers for the results of the advertising for Shargata? Was that something that we were going to do? Yes, we have established which ones are best performing and which ones we will proceed to move forward with as soon as we're, we have access to that Facebook page. We will launch them. Yep, we, uh, it, is, it is worth mentioning, though, uh, last time we said we were going to do the top five, uh, and um, Brianne Brian and I are actually only doing the top two, um, or we have the top two. I guess we can still expand to the top five, but it sounded like we there were only two just, ads. Yeah. Like two uh, vastly outperformed the others. Yeah. So it's like, why yeah. bother? Yeah. So yeah, yeah we were going to use the two uh, top prior, prior performing ads there. So as far as phase two versus phase three, if we proceed with phase two, like we've talked about, um, what exactly is that going to entail? And then we'll move to a discussion of just opening it up to all of the lands. But I, I'd like to finish and, and discuss kind of where we are with what we had agreed upon last time and that's Ager's Hall and TR's phase two. What is that gonna entail? So the status at that point is David and I, um, or David and Brienne, whoever's available first, um, uh, just needs to sit down with uh, David and walk them through setting up the ads. Um, and then we can pretty much proceed. Like, if David was available tomorrow, available tomorrow, we could toggle this on and turn it on for these two um, tomorrow. Um, so, I mean, we're like 99% of the way. Just we're we're pretty much ready to go, from my understanding. 
Um, David can correct me, but I believe the credit card issue and the payment issue um, on our side has been um, resolved. Is that correct? I yeah. think so. Um, until we actually like run a payment, we won't know. Um, okay, that's fair. Because I've never, right? I've never done this part of Facebook ads, so I have no idea what will happen if I try paying for it. We'll so, wing it. Um, yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's yeah, no, fair. That um, works. <laughs> And that's and more less, how I get through life is just winging it and pretending I know what I'm doing and, <laughs> and, and so, learning and learning from it. Yes. Oh, learning? and we did have a plan B, um, <laughs> which was wonderful. Uh, we had a plan B as well from the last meeting. Uh, if for some reason we run into a hitch and we can't run it, uh, Sierra Gaeta, who is currently running ads, can actually run the ads on our behalf, targeting those lands and um, uh, essentially make it look like it's coming from West March uh, to the user. Um, and uh, then we would just have to uh, reimburse uh, Brienne for the, um, the expenses. Uh, so, I mean, we do have a plan B, but uh, plan A is uh, sitting down with David um, and then just pulling the trigger. And the, the only reason this hasn't happened yet is because we put a pause on it to schedule this meeting and see if we wanted to move into phase three, which is um, the next topic. Um, I do want to jump um, the gun just a tiny bit. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, David. Um, I'm free tomorrow afternoon and maybe evening if but we could Perfect. do it then. Perfect. Take us 30 minutes. I'm, probably about 30 minutes. Hmm? Yeah, we... It'll probably take we, about 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, we established probably no more than an hour at the absolute max because, um, yeah, but um, uh, yeah, so uh, that is where we are currently at with phase two. Um, since David is available, uh, it looks like uh, if we're going with phase two, we could probably throw the switch as early as tomorrow and start advertising. Um, that'd only be advertising for, as a reminder, uh, Agers Hall and Thor's Rift. Huge, just as the um, proof of concept, yeah. Uh, and yeah, uh, can I can I butt in there real quick? Go for it. I, I have heard several objections as to like, oh, why are we only doing two when we could do everybody? If we had a West March page that said, "Here are all the lands throughout California," we could target that with all the ads, and people who were curious could just say, oh, I'm next to this one, and then they would know, and that would be a way to advertise to all of the lands if that's a huge objection that we need to overcome. Like, that right. would be a way to do that. So that is like, the what do you mean potatoes. West March page that lists all the lands? Like, on a well, website? Uh, well, sort yeah. of. Uh, I have yeah. I have some news for that one, actually. Okay. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know I'm talking a lot. I apologize. Oh, uh, I've just been, I've been ruminating on this quite a bit. Um, so uh, regarding phase one and phase two, I actually have a proposal that I think might make everybody happy. And that okay, is, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, um, and that is actually, uh, we do both. We've been thinking of this as a very much a and or situation, but I honestly think it could be both. And here's what I think we might be able to do. Um, and I think this might solve the net of the issue for the, the, the four and um, of the phase one and the phase two. Um, I think we should run two, uh, two completely different campaigns. One campaign targets just Thor's refuge uh, and Agers Hall with the uh, 30 mile radius or whatever the radius we had written in the original mm -hmm. project plan, mm -hmm. just like we had planned with phase two. And then in addition to that, we specifically run a campaign targeting the state of California, except Agers Hall and um, Thor's Refuge. So we don't have uh, double sets of ads being introduced to the same group of people and kind of muddying the results. And we actually run mm. these two phases in tandem and see which approach is better. Is it better to go statewide mm. <clears throat> or is it better to go individually um, around mm. um, each location? I, I think this could be a really valuable learning experience that kind of uh, helps us in the long term when it comes to targeting because that was that option. Of, well, but um, how, how would we? How would we? How would we do everything except those two? I think that's the thing that I don't quite understand. It's just uh, in that's the built into that's built into the targeting essentially. 
Mm, so okay. we so it's can a, it's a, it's a, it's say a automatic it's an thing. exception. Yeah, it's an exception. So okay. we can say basically target to the entire state of California except the areas that we're targeting in our phase two. So essentially we wouldn't be calling these phase two and phase three. It'd be more something along the lines of um, experiment one and experiment two. And then what about um, the costs and paying for it? How would that work? So uh, from my understanding and um, Monarch, this is where you can step in if, uh, if I'm misunderstanding the situation. Um, our, the originally, the reason we were doing such a small amount to begin with was because we were trying to keep the budget ridiculously small, just so we can just establish the proof of concept. However, Sierra Gata has already done that for us. Now, I believe the Monarch has uh, suggested um, $200 uh, for uh, the budget overall out of the Monarch's fund. And like I said, please, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me. So budget-wise, we could throw $100 at each and just split it right down the middle. And then going forward, we could say um, something along the lines of, oh, basically then going forward, we'll know, hey, if we throw $100 at experiment number one or the technique that we used in experiment number one, uh, um, going forward, our monthly expenses uh, or however many, it, it would provide us the cost every time we wanted to do this, essentially. Uh, I hope that makes sense. I know I was rambling. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I think, I mean, thinking long-term, I think I, I love your proposal. I think it's awesome way to integrate both ideas um, and I love it. But going forward, I think for this experiment, the um, generosity of the Monarch is well appreciated for this. But the long-term, I'd like to look at how West March would, if it's successful, um, how is West March going to continue to pay for it? Because um, I think we're still in a recovery mode from COVID and events. We don't have a guaranteed profit from events. We have no fundraising or income for West March other than dues. And I if think we're that it, look at the, doing this long term. What, what do mean? you think that would look like? I think long term, I, we will uh, be getting new members to help fund these activities and getting the, the higher numbers will get us to attract even more members because numbers beget numbers. As we attract people, we'll get more people coming in, paying their $10 dues, coming to these events. Um, these, it's not, we're not just paying for a service with recruitment. We're investing in our own populace and getting the word out to attract them to us. And uh, so the, the only problem I've heard so far with everything is with the um, the Sacramento issue of like cutting out the kingdom wide uh, advertising and specifically Sacramento is that Miss is Misty Vale and TR. So I don't mind doing them both at the same time, but excluding the zones, I I, mm. I can't really support that. I I'm totally fine doing TR and Nature's Hall on their own, but as long as West March covers the same area too, I think that's still fair as mm. long as we're progressing. If that makes sense. So would well, you include Adrian's in Hall then too, just do all of West March and then just those two separate? So the only yeah. the only problem with that is those two lands are going to be basically getting double at the ads as everybody else if we take oh, no, that they'll approach. they'll get more advertising. They need it, right? That's the well, point. The, the no, downside that's true, is but that's not fair to anybody else. Yeah. We, if, if the targeted ad for their lands is working, we won't know. Or we we'll add more Misty numbers Vale. And we'll be totally surprised and shocked and call it such a failure when they suddenly have 20 people on the field. It's, we're risking success by holding ourselves back. Or we add Misty Vale. But we're also we do Misty Vale and TR and Ager's Hall. And then make that more of a, the Sacramento and Ager's Hall so that yeah, both Misty yeah, Vale just, and, and. I can um, jump in here too. What was that? I, I can jump in here with. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the locations, but are all those parks, you guys are up really north, right? I'm covering Sargata at the moment with both personal and park funds. I don't mind continuing to test the individual things with Sargata, and then we could we could put all those parks up there in, in a single basket, simply by virtue of them being close by. People who find it will be able to go to the park closest to them. Okay, that is an interesting If, if that solves the problem. Hmm. Yeah, so they would all be... Nobody would be excluded then. 
and mean, it would be the same same price. Like everybody would be getting the same amount if that's a problem. And I see that this is like a temporary investment that maybe we'll review it. You know, we'll do it four times a year. We'll check results. We'll run it occasionally when it's appropriate. Like right now, it's, it's spring. All right, we need to get people out to the parks. This is our recruitment time. Getting people to yeah. dark stores right around the corner. So I want to, like, as fast as we can get it going, let's do it. I'll, I'm happy to put more money into it. Um, as you already has some money, we can talk about getting more for other things. But uh, I, I think that as soon as we can get it done, the, the sooner we can see if we get more people. There. I definitely don't agree. I, de I mean, rather, I definitely do agree with that. And also, so in terms of how we achieve this in the future and like, you know, who's going to pay for it is going to be a part of the yearly budget. I honestly think that that is a future question and not a question we should be addressing right now, because what we're essentially trying to do right now is establish a really solid baseline in which to work from. Um, so, uh, in short, I, I, in terms of like, how are we going to fund this? Uh, you know, is this going to come out of, you know, some event budget or is this going to be something that the fundraising committee is, you know, if there is ever a committee or just fundraising in general is dedicated to, um, uh, I think that's outside the scope of our current experiment. So project. is this something that when you meet with David tomorrow, you can set up both experiment one and experiment two at the same time and get them both started? Yeah. Did we arrive yeah. on what experiment one and two are? That's what I was about to go into. We just we just need to 100% clarify exactly what experiment one is, experiment two is. From my understanding, uh, and um, correct me if I'm wrong, experiment one would be targeting the entire state of California um, and not excluding anybody. Experiment two would be uh, targeting three areas, uh, not two. It'd be doing Misty Vale, Thor's Refuge, and Agers Hall. So those three lands um, would, in the end, getting be exposed to double more, double the ads as everybody else. Um, but we're acknowledging for the fact of this meeting that it is not uh, favoritism. It's just a test to see uh, which ad style is going to be um, more effective? Is okay, that we're, correct? We're sort of uh, assuming that if it was going to be two separate ones, the Sacramento uh, Lodi section would be considered separate to track those results separately. My, my only problem is, is if we're going to separate Sacramento out, that we represent all the parks in Sacramento uh, from the rest of it. I don't mind keeping those experiments separate if you want to be able to track the results like so you're saying since we're including Misty Vale, you would keep Misty Vale, TR, and Adrius Hall separate from all of California so that we could see which one worked better? If, if that's what you guys wanted to do. I'm, I'm, mm. Anything works for me. I don't, I don't mind as long as we, we make it available to, to everyone and let anyone who's interested. Well, so that's, that's, I mean, that's the beauty of this experiment is no matter what category the lands fall into, experience, experiment one or experiment two, everybody is going to be getting ads for them. Absolutely everybody. Nobody is being left out. Um, it's just a matter of choosing which technique on delivering those ads is better. So there will be no geographical range that's left out. If we do experiment one as just Agers Hall and Thor's Refuge, um, everybody else in the Sacramento area is still getting targeted by the other experiment. So nobody is being left out. So what's your recommendation? Um, there's, it sounds to me like there's a different difference in the advertising between Misty Vale, TR and Adrius Hall, and then all of California. Are they different yeah. styles of advertising then? Sort of. Brad, so this might be where yeah, Brian, this might be where you could come in and, and help me explain it here just a little bit. And because since we've both set up ads, uh, we both kind of have that internal ad structure and Facebook work so built into our head. Um, and uh, I, I probably could explain it a little bit better. Sure. Can, can you just restate the question for me just so I'm on the same page? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, explaining the uh, campaign ad set, uh, ad workflow and the benefits of um, running two experiments 
uh, targeting uh, one nationwide and the other experiment targeting the original phase two experiment and how nobody is left out uh, and everybody is actually getting an ad um, during that process. Okay. Oh, hold on. Um, so first of all, I, I would highly recommend against a nationwide ad because there are plenty of places oh, within I'm sorry. California. I don't mean nationwide. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> California wide. I don't mean nationwide. I mean California wide. Sorry, statewide. Sure. I mean, statewide. Nationwide so, is so <laughs> yeah, right. Um, even so, like there are places in California where there are no parks. So basically, we using Facebook ads have the ability to target areas. What we will do with all of the advertisements is to target the area within 10 miles of each individual park. We can do that. The number of parks in that set is whatever we want it to. So we can target Andrews Hall um, and the other two with an ad, and we can target one ad with everybody else in it. It's the same process. Does that make sense? That, that, to me, it makes sense. Uh, I mean, it makes we're, sense. We're targeting just, distance around parks. Right. I was thinking that there was going to be a difference in the ads or the way that we advertised where we'd be nope. comparing experiment one and experiment two. Does that make sense? Well, we will, still, we will still be able to uh, compare experiment one and experiment two. But the comparison would be, the comparison would be the difference <laughs> between um, funneling money towards many people seeing an individual park versus funneling money into people seeing like many parks right. and deciding which one they want to go to. Okay, got it. So it's a matter of volume, yeah, I think. Sounds good, okay. I get it. I, I understand. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely popped around topics again uh, and we're technically between two, um, but uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I think that the funding that pretty much, I think, takes care of the funding and the whole phase two, phase three. We've just modified phase two. Essentially. Or essentially. So for the sake of just making sure that, that we can see the goal. I wanna reset the vision for this ad. And the, the vision five years down the line is for West March to have a general ad that lists all the parks that's going out to everybody. And then for individual lands to have their own set that they manage themselves that they can funnel more money to if they so choose. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly. And, and the purpose for restating that would be, with this experiment, we are going to determine if it's better to funnel money at one individual park, or in this case, three individual parks, or funneling money at everybody. And once we have a better idea of what that's going to be, we can choose, oh, well, we'll just like have parks pay what if the, if the many parks works better, we'll just have West Mar like different lands throw money at West March, and they'll bu boost that ad to off $10 a day or something. But if it's better for the individual parks, then we'll give them control over it and they can manage their own damn ads. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so I, I think of it as an experiment in like loose terms and we're gonna be making progress either way in getting recruitment. That's and the, it, the, does it, it doesn't have to be an either or if, a, if like, you know, Nimer Sanctum said, yeah, no, I wanna get some more, let's do our own ads and we fund it and we do it, then that's a thing, right? Yes. Cool. Absolutely. Cool. Nothing that we're doing as a group doing. to help them do that. Exactly. Nothing that we're doing is stopping anybody or right. any Facebook or yeah. any okay. group from running. These now, ads do we have a how to or a document that says how to do this for other plans? <laughs> no. Sort of. Because that's we I, was say, I can help it. with that. I know we've talked about doing it, but I, I, I can help with that. So and let's... I 100% take you up on that. Uh, according to, I, I literally just finished before I put this meeting watching the meeting previously. Um, and what we decided on with the last uh, meeting was that um, we were actually going to make documentation as soon as we ran this experiment and figured out what ad style is gonna work because each ad uh, setting it up is gonna be a little different both ways. 
Um, then we knew which, once we knew which one was successful, we'd write up the tutorial for that specific one and then give that as a resource document for, for um, all the lands who want to do it themselves. Beauty, yes. And yeah, I would love your help with that. Yes. So we just got to figure the, out which one works better. Yeah, so no, that, put, that's it. That's the end of the experiment. So cool. Let's put that on the agenda for next time um, okay. as a, as a follow-up. So what I understand is we're going to do uh, both we're going to do uh, California wide and then Misty Vale, TR, Agers Hall specifically. Um, David, Amanda, and Brienne are going to set that up tomorrow. And then we're going to analyze the results. You're going to have numbers and data for us at our next meeting to see what happens with those ads. The funding will be either by the Monarch or Shargata, Brienne, as needed. Yeah. Um, or uh, your majesty, do you want to just fund it so that Brienne and Shargata get a break? How do you guys want to work that? Uh, we can take over funding. I'll, I'll fill out a check later and uh, let us just know and then get you guys the final number. Okay. Um, okay, so that um, I guess is kind of a motion. Yeah. Is there yes. anyone opposed to that? Awesome. Cool. My money. Yeah. <laughs> and we thank uh, you for that. Real yes. Quick. Um, Amanda, I think I added you to Facebook's uh, advertising thing. And Brian, if you accept my friend request on Facebook, I'll be able to add you directly. <laughs> uh, Facebook I says go. I can only add friends. Dude, Facebook's nuts. Uh, or by email it's weird because i did email invites a while ago and they disappeared um but we can get that part going yeah um i don't oh. does not look like i have access currently to the west march ad set but um i will oh wait um, actually i actually think i do yeah, yeah I, do. I added you via friend like 10 minutes ago but like okay. by email is difficult because yeah. okay. um, Facebook wants everybody to be happy, happy friends. Well, I'd still I mean, love you good to get along. present. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm happy, quite thankful for that. I, I'd still like you to be present, though, um, just yeah. so uh, I have some oversight uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're all uh, on the same page there. Um, but that, that's awesome. We're all set up for tomorrow that it looks like we're yeah. not going to have any, uh, any issues when setting, setting this up. God willing, no. Hope, well, I mean, there's bound to be something, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. That's okay. the spirit. And then Amanda, were you going to we make go. a post to announce the starting of our experiment? Uh, yeah. Um, I will. Yes. Uh, as soon as mm -hmm. we have the ads running. Um, I didn't make a post previously just because we were, were up in the air, but um, as soon as we have the ads running so I can uh, explain exactly how we set up, um, we, uh, yeah, I'll make that announcement um, hopefully tomorrow afternoon uh, or tomorrow evening um, once we hit the live button. And, and I know that we've talked um, before about you know, one of the things that's made us kind of slowed us down is to make sure that active lands have a pinned informational post at the top of the Facebook pages. We're just going to start the experiment. And have you contacted them? And um, is that going to be something that you're going to do to let them know, hey, we're advertising, make sure that your page has a certain format? Or are we just going to kind of let that go the way each lands pages are currently? It sounded um, important that that was they're the only ones to be that are going to suffer so. for it. Like, <laughs> like they're the ones that are going to suffer for it if they don't have a clean page. Because it's what people are going to say, nice ad, and they're going to click it, and they're going to be sent so, directly to this page. So, like, if it's a bunch of BS this, on there. So this actually <laughs> brings up this actually brings up one actually final point that we have to clarify before we can actually go live. Um, is exactly where we are pointing these ads to. Now, previously, I've actually, I mean, um, the reason I've been working so much on Come Try LARP is because I, we were working on the assumption we weren't going to be posting people to the Facebook 
Facebook page, we are going to be sending up to come try LARP. Um, and currently, uh, that is um, almost 100% ready to go. Um, in fact, us saying we have a date and we're going live uh, might be the, the straw or the, the fire gets the fire going and gets the last uh, four groups added. Um, <clears throat> and um, oh, there was somewhere else I was going with that. Oh, um, and then in terms of the uh, West March wide uh, one, um, I was thinking uh, we could post, we have a couple options. We could post that. My recommendation uh, right off the get go is to be we point people to the West March uh, Facebook group um, simply because uh, that gets uh, people interacting with our community a little bit, asking where a new land is, actually getting an introduction to somebody. So it might be a little bit of a warmer approach, not quite so cold show up, hope you find the right people. Um, so in terms of the West March one, uh, I would uh, point that towards uh, West March uh, page. And um, Does the West March page have a thing pinned that's like, we're West March, we're an AmpGuard community, here are all of our parks and their locations? Uh, it's, it's, it's I'm sure. It will soon. Yeah, yeah. because I'm yes. sure DA Amsgard, um, but like, no, like Julie Amsgard. said, yeah. you, you click on the land and it just lists the officers. It doesn't say anything about... It, it doesn't even list officers right, right now. Yeah. Well, so, the last, yeah, we the that, last like... resource the last resource we do have to point it at is a website called play.ampgard.com. Um, and that is almost what Come Try LARP is. Uh, if you... Um, if you head to it, uh, basically you type in your zip code uh, and you hit find and it pulls up every Ampgard park around that within a hundred okay. miles that are playing with the next week. Um, this is all pulling information from the orc. So the caveat to this is uh, lands need to make sure their orc uh, information is up to date. Right. Can, um, can, I haven't can, audited that. Can you give me that URL again? I'm sorry. Uh, it's play.ampgard.com. Okay. Do you think it is so, wise to move people off of Facebook, which they trust? Um, that That is a very valid question. Um, uh, yeah, that's a very valid question. Yes, I think uh, Facebook is a single social media platform. And as a, an organization, we need to be able to adapt to other social media platforms and extend beyond just Facebook. Because to be honest, Facebook is a lot of old people nowadays. Um, Facebook, so our West Market's forums are currently pretty clean, but when an issue comes up, uh, some of the discussions are not inviting to new people. That um, is a concern. That right now, I don't concern. think it's a problem. Um, long term? We'll see. I think, I think we've talked oh. about before different platforms other than Facebook because because like um, the King said um, you know not everybody uses Facebook and maybe not as many people are using Facebook and so we've talked about uh, what is it meetup we've talked about you know come try LARP that was a not Facebook thing I think the uh, what is it yeah but who knows uh, whatever that just exists amped like, art, well, you know yeah well framing it that way I would definitely recommend come try LARP just because uh, the lands can control it themselves. Uh, it's not relying on an administrator to update information like CA AmpGuard is. Um, it's not pointing people towards the immediately towards um, the Facebook uh, groups, which could cause drama. It's outside of Facebook, which has a benefit to that. Uh, and like I said, it still allows people to upload eye-catching media like videos and pictures, so the lands can bedazzle it as much as they want. I'm think, a little bit uh, confused by that. Oh, sorry, go for it. Yeah, I, I think ideally, while we should be trying to, to be on all these different social media platforms and, and reaching out and doing everything best, I think realistically, we need to recognize that Facebook is still that medium for us currently. And while yeah. it may not be that in five years, I, I think that's the, the polished format that we should be going with, because that is where our members are. And it's, that's, that's where our activity is. So if we're going to engage people and make them feel like a part of the community, I think mm -hmm. that's right now on Facebook. I, I definitely, I, I won't argue with that at all. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm in favor of that. It actually makes it easier. We just point to 
either the West March page, page as a whole or, you know, what, depending on the ad, the individual park page. Um, so um, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, if we're not worried about drama being a, um, or possible drama rather than uh, being a, um, too much of a negative point for our new members. I mean, is there drama on the Facebook pages? Yeah. Not lately, but there's been some there pretty been. bad dumpster fires. We've been really pretty good lately. Sure. I mean, anybody who starts up drama will be doing so at the risk of scaring people away. Like, if anything, that'll motivate them to not do that, no, I would assume. Well, no, no, I wish that logic rang true. I wish that logic <laughs> rang true. Yeah, but you know what? That's what moderators are for. And so, you know, if, if we're aware and the uh, administration, uh, administrators are aware of that, then, you know, I, I don't want to call it censorship, but we can have a little bit tighter control over that. Um, there are methods. Gonna, yeah. 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 So. Well, and again, it's like it's those individual parks that are going to suffer for it. So, right. Like, if that's something okay. that if they make the decision that the drama is more important than their members and like getting new people, then it's like that's not up to us to moderate that. Yeah, that's fair. That's okay, that's, fair. that's the decision of people who don't think far enough into the future. <laughs> or don't think. Um, I didn't say that. Um. Anyway. <laughs> um. Okay. So this is all set up, and I. I'm really looking forward to next meeting to kind of see what happens. Um, Amanda, I really appreciate all of the thought that you put into this and kind of making all of our ideas work um, and all of the work that you guys are, are doing on this because it's like way above my pay grade. So thank you. Um, let's go move on to uh, the other thing on your to-do list, Amanda, was you were going to make a how did you hear about us document to each I land did. participating. I did. Let me let me paste that uh, that sheet into the um, where is it? Okay, yeah. Let me just take a screenshot of this. Because and... when I was at TR last weekend, they they actually have some new people, and and I'm like, are you guys asking how they found you? And they, Perfect. They're like, no. No weren't aware of that yet no. it, no, it wasn't great. facebook advertising obviously yet but yeah no i have the right here i am actually the finishing touches on it at a couple of days back so nobody's actually received this link yet um i'm just trying to all right uh i'm pasting it directly into the um warm uh cohort porch document. Actually, no, Zoom has a chat. I'm sorry. I'll paste it there. Let me just pull that up. Um, there it is. Oh, wow. This is, uh, this is embarrassing. I've lost the Zoom chat window. Where did you go? There it is. Anyways, you can, um, uh, better yet, since the me meeting window is actually hiding for some reason, uh, I'm just going to post it in the warm committee chat, and I will make sure in a few minutes that after this. Okay, gets so space, while you're doing that, um, let's move on. And I'm assuming that's going to be something that you're going to share with the lands when you let them know about the advertising. Yep, and this is actually, it's posted into the warm committee chat. I'll make sure it's in the meeting now notes but you can view it now um it's a simple little, how did you hear about us with room to write other uh so the lands can just print these out um and uh use them for new members so then if the lands print them out and use them how are we going to collate the information uh well we're going to have to put somebody in charge of uh checking in um with lands in the future to see if they have any um uh, new documents. Um, what we could do, uh, that's probably outside of, um, well, actually, no, that's a pretty valid topic. Uh, my suggestion would be make a quick Facebook form and occasionally prod the PM, if you could fall under the responsibility of the PM, I would imagine, to um, give us a quick tally of, uh, uh, of numbers before they, um, 
uh, toss them. I mean, there could be a Facebook forum for it. Uh, we don't need to use these in general in terms of long term. I don't think we need to use these forms forever. Uh, we could probably just use them for, I don't know, six months or so, uh, just to give us an idea of um, uh, where our traffic is coming from. Mm. Um, so it would be it would be an extra task for the prime ministers, but it wouldn't be a long term task. I, I imagine we could probably just run it from one brain and then see how. A, yeah. Uh, how successful it is and give us some indication. I mean, the Facebook advertising the analytics is going to give us a lot of information in general, but this will allow us to see in, in the end, is it the demos or is it the Facebook ads? Do we need this for the next month while you're doing the Facebook with all of the analytics that will be generated? Is it really that important for the next month? Um, no, I mean, it's not. We could take a general, uh, a general basically count uh, in terms of traffic and say, you know, um, we were running these ads, you know, uh, three weeks later because our previous ex experiments shows that um, it usually takes two to three weeks for new members who have seen the ad to actually show up. Uh, yeah. But um, might be quicker for your guys' lands. And it might be like quicker for us. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We, the, the data is not 100% accurate. That's just the quick glance that we've gotten. Um, That's why we're doing more. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I apologize. I lost my train of thought again. ADD strikes. Oh, about the forums. We were talking about, you know, should we get the forums up now or what should oh, we do? Oh, yeah. So basically. Use forums? Like well, I mean, Google not Forum. Not, oh, okay. No, not no, actually no, no. The forums. I mean, I mean, like Google uh, forum.google.com. Just you know, cool. three three questions, three boxes. Just type your number in a box and enter. I, my yeah. goal would be for it to take the prime minister. Literally, no longer. The longest part would be counting. <laughs> um, it would take him. It would take him like two seconds to to put the numbers in. It wouldn't be anything from. Right. Right, and they would need to know their numbers, you know, going anyway. So yeah, and then as soon as the audits, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and then as soon as you know, and we wouldn't need to keep track of them. So as soon as I saw that, Brian, as soon as, they the numbers, <laughs> as soon as we threw it to the numbers, you know, they could just yeah. throw them away. We yeah. wouldn't, you know, need copies of of sheets or signed signatures or anything of that nature. I extremely light touch is uh, the ultimate goal, but. Um, and honestly, if in the end, if they just guesstimate, I would personally be fine with that. Um, we're just trying to, you know, get some indication uh, of which direction it's working. Okay. Um, Amanda, I just was going down your to-do list. Do you have anything else um, before we move on to the King's topics? Uh, no, I think that's pretty much it. I felt like a lot. It was a lot. I think we're good. It was a lot. Yep. Okay. So um, if anyone has any discussion before we move on, we're going to move on to um, the topic moving away from a committee structure. Um, Brian, what did, did you have? It was moving away from a committee structure to action group department style, more suitable yeah. to advertising and recruitment what? activities. Now that you've been in one of our meetings, uh, what are your ideas on that? Uh, I think mostly I have to uh, change nothing. Um, just sort of ask, does it, you guys are functioning more as like what I'm thinking of you guys as functioning as more of an action group and not really a committee. Because um, co committees for the most part, um, like regulate and clarify things. Or is the action group style is you guys are still having regular meetings where you're coming together, talking about different projects that you're working on, and then breaking apart to actually make those projects happen. Um, sort of like with DenderCon already, I just sort of had to, as Monarch, it was super convenient to just turn around, have you guys there and say, hey, I need someone to run this demo. And one of you was able to do it. That's not really the role of a committee. So maybe that's just me as a, an IO psychologist guy hearing the term committee and thinking that comes with this huge uh, form and process that will really hold back uh, recruitment and advertisement because in, in private industry, their uh, private company wouldn't have a recruitment committee. They'd have a whole department of people that do it because it's you need daily meetings uh, and more frequent communication to 
to really be effective. Um, so if, if if people are sort of comfortable with like it not being a committee, even though it, like it, it irks me, I, I can uh, just move past that point um, and sort of just agree with the 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 and just move on to the uh, the second point, which I think was the name of like the warm committee, which I'm I'm trying to heat up to, honestly. Uh -huh. but it's, I get it. Yeah, but it's, it is still, it's, it's just not that cool. Like, it's it's not that descriptive. Like, hearing the name, it doesn't tell me what the committee really does. As well, I was thinking about, I'm going to put this down in the Kapoor, because this is, like, an official attachment to the monarchy. I, I, I love what you guys are doing, so I want this to be, like, an ongoing thing for the kingdom where it's in there. Cool. Um, but there is a, a theme and an aesthetic with our Kapoor, which is all, you know, ironically medieval fantasy where we are a kingdom you know i'm not a ceo i'm a monarch uh we have a, a circle of knights and a, a guild of reeves and and colleges of arts and sciences and other things so uh i was thinking when i pitched the name change something that fit more of that medieval aesthetic although i think the warm name is probably working i don't know if you guys have like gotten a chance to see how that is i i, I think Jude? it's fine i'm Jody actually had two great suggestions. Uh, she suggested calling it a cohort rather than a committee. But then she also suggested a great idea, which actually I don't want to steal her thunder. So Jody. So you can steal away. That's totally fine. I'm down. <laughs> um, uh, she actually suggested maybe opening the question up to the populace and running it as a contest of some sort and seeing if anybody can come up with anything snazzier. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like cohort, but but I mean, but we're, we're talking about, you know, doing advertisement and community, you know, the community cohort. I don't know. Um, well, I think warm. The, the reason, um, Brian, that we came up with that name is it's West March advertising, recruiting and marketing. Right. Which isn't clear. If I just look at warm, even though it's all caps, I don't know what that is. So I I understand yeah where you're coming from and i understand that the context and the um i don't know what the word is but it, it doesn't fit the aesthetics of the corpora if to put it that way so um i don't know if opening it up to the populace and having um some kind of a contest on what they think would be a good name a that they would really care or b that it would come up with something in uh in line with fitting in well with the corpora um so what do you i mean what are you what are you looking for is is it, you know would a contest be something that you think would be reasonable um or yeah i mean i love an excuse for shenanigans i mean you know me i love having fun and, and coming i'll up. be back in a few yeah. all right um you know we, get, we can all come up with a good idea but our um coming up with ideas as a group i think is always preferable um, community contest. I, I think it's an interesting idea. I try not to pitch too much stuff to the uh, the public to make them decide things because I think they, they want to be told to come and engage and not be asked about, well, how do you want to engage? Because you already chose Amp Guard. Um, so, uh, but I, I'm not opposed to, to, to fielding that question out there to, to get more involvement or getting more people on board. Um, I think giving them a list of some good suggestions to start them off would prevent a Bodie McBoat face scenario. Uh, <laughs> that is um, fair. That's always or, a risk. Or rather than make it, yeah, but rather than make it a contest, maybe make a post like you've done with the uh, corpora change ideas and just say, hey, we have this group. Um, if you were looking in the corpora, what name would you see that would I let like you that. know that's yeah. what this group is an informal communication post yeah yeah i could yeah. Uh, i could probably field that within the next week and get that comms out. cohort i already got this awesome <laughs> okay so brian you're gonna do that yeah thank to. you um, so okay sweet things uh that have come to mind like that have i like i've reviewed other things but uh, i think was it an sea isn't that like a seneschal is the uh the person that records names is like the recorder of people for tournaments i think um, something uh, like that yeah yep 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 uh, yeah and also colleges of heralds or something like that anything that like gets Ooh. the word out that's that's who you are and sort of your your functions the marshals the, 
the kingdom. I like I like Harold. That's kind of fun. Well, that's an official role. Oh, we might not be able to use that one. No, no, we can't use that. Okay, gotcha. But no, you could, because you want to be the court herald. You would just be like a college of heralds for the kingdom at large. You're spreading the Uh word of the kingdom. That's it. I thought, yeah. College of heralds. Daddy's friends. There's there's other terms. You know, the guild of heralds. There's. Say hi. 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 Show everyone your underwear. <laughs> so if I look at the definition of herald, a herald is a messenger. And you're bringing the good word. <laughs> I mean, what we're really doing is conscripting people. Let's be honest. <laughs> conscripting. Yeah. The conscripting. But that sounds word. too real. We should not do that. You should not use that word. Right. You're That's not proven a... sergeants or nothing. This is a. <laughs> Yeah. We're not raising the beard or something like it's Viking. Maybe. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so um, Brian, go ahead and, and put that out there and then we'll kind of see what we get and we can talk about it um, next month when we meet. And then, <laughs> so that. Fast forwarding the, uh, the project. The only other thing I had to, to really pitch your guys' way is funding. Um, the kingdom is happy to uh, to help supply funding to get you know both the recruitment project and other things going. Um, I can talk with the Zeus about getting you guys like a separate event fund, like we do for Feast of Mars and Dark Show, where they 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 have their own budget for you guys to just sort of have access to and decide. Because asking, I don't want to have to approve everything. I assume you guys are going to spend it on advertisement and recruitment, and it's not going to be more money than I wouldn't throw away anyway. So. I would feel comfortable just giving that and having you guys be able to, to function in order to do everything. Yeah, uh, I think this is my my opinion. I think that that's good. And I think that that'll be useful going forward long term. Um, currently, we've been relying on uh, dues, which because of the emergency contingency haven't come in. Um, we rely on event profits, which so far we haven't had any yet. We have no fundraising, so we have no nothing, you know, coming in. Um, we do have a an annual West March budget that the BOD reviews at the beginning of every year. Um, so I think I think that a we need to formalize the group um, and put it in the corpora first, and then we're going to need to figure out if the kingdom can support it long-term before you actually give it a budget. Um, and if you can do all that in the next two months, awesome. Um, if we can kind of get the, the ball rolling and get it set up to head in that direction. Um, Cause I don't think going forward that individuals should have to pay for it. Um, and I think that there should be an umbrella group, which is us for West March that works with the lands and continually looks at different ways to bring people in, which is going to cost money. And I don't think that we're going to have an idea on what that annual budget is going to be until we've been actually doing this for a little while. So, you know, it may be a monarch draw for a while, but, um, you know, like you said, I, I don't know how successful we're going to be. It's not that we're not going to be successful. I don't know how successful we're going to be and that success and how many new members we bring in um we need you know we're just going to kind of need to see what happens well, well we, that's we the whole point of it at, at our parks and whatnot so i i think it'll be good i think we're we're betting on success and investing in ourselves with everything so far and, and the entire process of this is to establish the baseline right so we're not really worried ultimately how much of a success this is we're just trying to get an overall idea. Um, I mean, I, I'm fairly confident just based on what we've seen, this this will be a success. It might not like go viral, but uh, you know, I do think we'll we'll see a um, we'll be able to establish a baseline and then going mm-hmm. forward, we'll be able to fine tune our advertising structure and our strategy. You know, that's the topics for future future meetings. Um, and then we'll see how to to maximize our our current budget because um, just because one ad strategy doesn't work doesn't necessarily mean advertising as a whole doesn't work. It just means we might have to restructure how we're delivering those ads. Yes. 
So we'll pick that up, um, keep that on our uh, old business for next week. Um, one item, um, Brian, did you, your majesty, Brian, do you have um, anything else that you wanted to talk about? I know you had a list. Did we make sure to discuss all of your topics? Yeah, for the most part, I feel heard on everything. There is one I didn't have on my list uh, that I think came up um, sort of uh, with some of the, uh, the the next monarchy members already sort of declaring and having some fantastic ideas pitched forward. I wanted you guys to already start thinking about uh, Dame Melanthus's conclave idea, uh, which is like getting, you know, small land events and getting encouraging people to show up to that, I think the uh, recruitment committee might be able to support her with those plans mm -hmm. and be able to help encourage people to get into that. I want you guys to start thinking about uh, the next reg because, you know, I, I want you guys mostly to be able to do your things, but being able to support those conclaves is going to be, I think, a big thing because that's that's where we secure membership. Can you be able to show up to the parks where there's 20 or 10 to 20 people, hopefully, is a nice idea. Getting someone to show up to an event where there's 50 to 70 people um, secures a, a much better memory that it will, will lock in those members a lot better. It would be quite easy to advertise for those events as well. Like with the proper funding, no. you can throw 50 bucks at that and guarantee 10,000 people see it, you know? I mean, exactly. so... Um, you, you want to wave your hand back? I don't want to like say that, you know, there you go. Melanthus is going to, to be the one I think or, uh, or support her above any other candidates, but, you know, planning ahead and thinking about what's likely going to happen and how we can help facilitate those things. Um, just some thoughts. And that kind of brings up another um, idea. So when I established this group, um, there was an idea that, um, that we was, there was a fundraising, there was like a whole bunch of groups, but there was the fundraising and there was this group and we had, uh, I had, I had offset them by six months for kind of a year term um, and then this one was going to be at the close of a 12 year term in May at the, at the close of this next monarchy. So I think that's something we should also discuss and I'm not sure, you know, at, at what level, um, if it's in the corpora, um, officially, then it would be stated in there, but, um, I, I'd like to just kind of bring that up now. We don't have to decide, um, if we're just going to kind of keep going with the members we have. Um, if you think it should be a one year group and then we recruit new members, speaking of recruiting, you know, kind of um, ter uh, terms and, and time commitments for this. Um, I, I don't think we need to decide tonight, but that brought up a good point about, you know, the corpora committee is kind of not a set term, but the BOD is a year or, you know what I mean? So. Um, start kind of start thinking about that too, as as well as the next train and and conclave and, and the things going forward long term. Um, another thing I had was a mission statement. I don't know that we necessarily need a mission statement if this is going to be something that's in the corpora. Does the BOD have a mission statement, David? I have a Let's copy of the. Uh, I have a co copy of the BOD handbook somewhere. Right, where did I set it down? I do too. I was um, just too lazy to go look it up. Yeah, it must not be within reach. I think I left it upstairs. Uh, we might is the short answer to that. <laughs> oh. Well, I can pull that up pretty quickly. I'm not against. If we don't mission know statement. the mission, no. that tells you how it's going. <laughs> I think it's actually going quite well. I mean, we, we have a very solid plan, in my opinion. But um, I'm always in favor of mission statements, regardless if the BOD has set a precedence, because that uh, it definitely helps keep us grounded. So um, I, I vote we should um, maybe table this one until next time and give every everybody the uh the option to um to brainstorm them mm -hmm. maybe cool it's kind of like our name we have to get that okay got it yeah there's just there's a bunch of ways to um oh. to to do it well, i'll be right and back I, I actually I just, have... i'll be right back i just stepped in a pile of vomit oh no oh no it's fine 
Um, and uh, that actually brings up uh, two, um, two quick questions that uh, I was going to put forward and I'll reiterate these when uh, Jody's back. So folks have yeah, I also have need a one moment second. to think about it. Actually, you know what? Does everybody need a bio break? If you need a bio break, go take a bio break. This is actually prime time. Good, good time. Good time. Waiting on me. Uh, everybody decided to do a really fast bio uh, bio break. So oh, okay. um, since we've been in a meeting for a while, so you uh, you have a minute or two. Okay, cool. You scared everyone away with talk of vomit. <laughs> Yeah, well, I just cleaned my carpet, so it kind of goes figures. And we're back. Uh, sound off. Who are we still waiting on? Jody. Not me. I made it. Okay. Come back. Great. Wow. We did it. Welcome back. Huzzah. Huzzah. So I don't, um, there was only a couple other things, so I don't know that we'll be here much longer. One of them was, so mission statement. Um, I would like to get some, I, I looked up West March on YouTube and got a bunch of other LARP videos. Um, I would like to have some kind of a presence on YouTube um, that I don't know if the Monarch can access, but, and I don't know that it necessarily needs to be like the BOD meetings or our meetings, um, but I'd like to, maybe the next thing that we work on or one of the next things is kind of get a West March presence on YouTube and get some YouTube videos. And um, if, if anybody's got like drones or pictures or can make videos or something for YouTube for West March, um, I'd like to kind of just put that on the radar. That would be cool. I think, All right. so I think about, that's brilliant. Uh, oh, five minutes before this meeting started, I figured out how to add other users to West March uh, YouTube accounts based on reading the minutes of oh. previous meeting. So, oh, thank you, thank yes, you, thank you. Yes, I can do that. Um, my hero. And it's probably based on whoever myself and like the monarchy. So Brian says, 
we should add. Could uh, we set it up to where every land has their own channel within Westmarch, so every land has a place to upload? Whatever they I would think like each to land upload. just makes their own if they want yeah. one. Um, okay, that's one approach. Yeah, and we could also put we could put in there, you know, the list of the links to the other ones in there if we want. Because yeah. there's always a, a thing that says, "What does this channel do?" Well, it's also it, worth it's, noting. Like, I would just want to chime in here real quick. Making videos is a pretty big ask. Like, yeah. people oh, have yeah. to be quite dedicated to do that. And like, most amp guard videos on YouTube are awful, just awful. I've looked. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I, I discussed this with the uh, the monarchy at the uh, the start of the reign about you know the idea of like managing our social media presence on other platforms and YouTube was one of the and we had some discussion about like what YouTube would be good for us to use as and most I think it's like storing BOD minutes and maybe fighting videos there are some like arts and sciences type of things or maybe promotional videos that could be made with it but what the platform is for I don't think directly speaks to like amp guard content currently i mean someone could make like a youtube channel it's all like larb and, and amp guard content but i it would have to be like a, a huge production with an individual and a lot of like branding and it'd have to but build we, a show I think. but we could use it for and this isn't maybe part of this committee but we could use it for our bod meeting minutes and these meeting minutes and and all of that uh, yeah, but 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 will outside people really want to see that no well i mean that's the yeah. but i mean we do in some ways want to make sure we're still being transparent so people can watch these so if the even if we don't was, I mean, yeah, for our own like for other people to be like look guys like all of our stuff's online go watch it if you want to i could see that as an appropriate use for it rather than entertainment media yeah, yeah uh, i mean okay. i my opinion is to put it, uh, I mean, in an ideal world, I would see everything under the West March umbrella just so it's in one place. But um, I mean, having different lands have their own works too. Um, it does definitely give them the freedom for it. And they're not relying on anybody to upload a video, which is always a bonus. Okay. Uh, but I do think uh, using the West March YouTube platform, that way uh, there's a place that everybody has access to to see the BOD meetings. You don't need a Google account, you know. Okay, so um, that's okay. So that's going to be um, probably a monarchy thing, and not really under the purview of this group. Possibly, yeah. Okay, and then as far as entertainment videos though go, I am making those sorts of videos, but they are a long, long process. Um, yeah, yeah. Like one of the uh, ideas we pitched at the the monarchy was doing like. Um, amp guard wrestling style persona videos where we would have people create their own videos and send them into the kingdom to yeah to announce their persona and like lay down a challenge or, or do whatever and have fun with it to give like a, a role play uh, demonstration video it's, it's one of the things that didn't really come to fruition from a lack of this is a, a lot of content to manage and just realistic expectations for, for the group we had and just, all right well we'll put that in the do later maybe i think tiktok might be a better platform for that sort of thing anyways mm. short videos yeah yeah i was just i just took a peek while we were talking about all you know the, the videos in west march amp guard and we have 31 subscribers and three videos we could probably do like five Amazing. streams for like you know kingdom mid rain and and tournament days and whatnot that might be nice um, it yeah and it'd be yeah. a good place to upload that nighting video that jody i know i haven't sent you yet but i do have the nighting video for olana yeah. so i mean that'd be a oh, great that would be good it. i've that got a cute great. couple cute little things from projects over the years and we could always lean on the community to provide the con you know yeah I mean, oh yeah totally uh, part of the part of the warm cohort or whatever we call uh is isn't going to be just doing all of the solo it's going to be encouraging lands to to do it themselves because you know as the king said oh no two people running ads at the same time that's a problem it's totally not the more ads we have the better i mean that's so if i go on us. youtube what do yeah. i look where do i go to find the west march if YouTube? you write west march amp guard you can find one it. word no west march space amp guard and right now there's really nothing there, but I mean, yeah. it's, it is oh, okay. a great place. 
it is a great place to, you know, we have the, the archive, you know, most of our videos are on Facebook right now, but you know, the, 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 everybody's right. It's, it's yeah. only, it only works for the people who are on Facebook and most of our land isn't on Facebook, but yeah. YouTube so, is agnostic. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we can put whatever we want. Okay. And we need to, we need to fix it up because it doesn't know about or anything like that. Oh it's, yeah. But yeah. So I'm seeing, um, Thistledown's Regents discussion and West March Amp Guard live stream that was two years ago. And then I would like to be materials. able to upload the BOD. Oh, and there's a Dratz's Bardic. Yeah. Well, okay, we can use um, channels. We can make channels, a whole bunch of different channels in there too. Um, I'd like yeah, to have a way that we can use this for BOD meeting minutes, uh, our meeting minutes, um, and, as well as as classes in that. So do I have to be given permission to do that? Yep. But um, uh, David figured out how to do that. Yeah, I can invite you. Oh, would, you would you invite me? Email because again. Raven Skull Smasher at gmail.com. All one um, word? It, yeah, all one word, all small. Yeah, if you do and that, then I'll work on getting all of my uh, video recordings posted in here. I do um, recommend that we um, we make use just for organization wise, so people can find things easier. We make use of channels. Yes. Feature totally. of YouTube. So um, when you guys are uploading things, I recommend you create a channel specifically for BOD meetings and How make sure all that? the videos get uploaded. Uh, I'm pretty sure David can walk you through it. it. It shouldn't be too hard. And if not, uh, ping me. I should be free most of um, okay. uh, uh, tomorrow, hopefully, um, with the okay. reception of some Yeah, they have the all, the, all the ways of doing it, your channel, and you can switch it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. okay. No, that sounds good, because I, I posted the uh, this group's meeting on Facebook last time. Um, but I think YouTube would be a good place. And I think we've used YouTube in the past to hold meetings live and it kind of goes right into the channel, but that's a, I think for a different day and maybe a different committee. Yeah, I, that's, that's a definitely, I, in terms of priorities, um, you know, once we get these ads set up, that's gonna be running in the background and we're pretty much not gonna have anything to work on. Um, I, I definitely think that should be, <laughs> well, I mean, we'll, we'll have some stuff to work on, but it's, it's going to be fairly hands-off once we get this machine and this ball rolling. Um, so I, I think that is a excellent project, uh, to focus on next. Yes. Okay. All right. So years past, um, uh, it was easier to do Google meets, um, yeah, Google meetup streaming directly to YouTube. Google Meetup has gone away and it's been replaced by I don't know what, which is part of uh, paid Google. Mm. Um, so last time I looked at that, I was less familiar with West March's new Google accounts. So West March does have a paid Google account. So we may or may not have access mm -hmm. to whatever replacement for Google Meetup, which I don't know what that is. It's, so it's possible Google. West Park has that account. We used to use Hang Hangouts, Google Hangouts, and that no longer exists. Right. It's uh, it's meet.google.com is the so, uh, that's the that they use now. But which, um, actually, I'm going to interject right here. Uh, in terms of the question of streaming and how to stream it, whether or not we put it on YouTube or stream to YouTube, um, our BOD agenda, uh, Kaya actually should be giving us a report oh. on how to do that because we're featuring, we were facing that exact same problem with the BOD. So uh, I vote we don't go down this road and we wait for, for Kaya's uh, report uh, for the BOD meeting next um, and we'll hopefully have an idea and a solution already in place. And it just occurred to me, holy moly, there's a lot of overlap between us and the BOD. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I just, I don't know why this didn't work last time. I just went to meet.google.com, click the new meeting and boom, it's ready. Um, cool. And last time it was trying to get me to do all sorts of weird upgrades and channel setup. So um, there we go. We've got, we can do everything you all said um, quick and um, easy. And this actually leads me 
actually real quick, uh, quick into uh, one final, um, hopefully final topic. Uh, and that was the West March, uh, the cohort chat. We've been sticking to Facebook, but recently for the BOD, we moved to Discord. That way there's transparency and everybody can see it. Do we want to do the same thing with this group? I love Discord. I'm about it. I mean, just for chat. I mean, and that's, this is purely an instance of whether or not we think the populace is going to care whether or not they can see our chat and our status of what we're doing. Dude, they won't care if they can see it, but they'll really be mad if they can't see it. Okay. <laughs> they'll so never read we, it. So maybe we should do exactly what we have just recently done with the BOD and we move the conversation uh, from Facebook to Discord. That's what we want to do. Um, it's an... Yeah, I'm there all the time. I don't care. I'm not, but I'm being drawn there, so I will be. I don't think you guys have anything sensitive that will ever come up that will require the transparency that the BOD does. Um, True. If you guys want to uh, communicate that way, well, yeah, whatever works for you. Um, I don't care. I'll go along with the group. It, I see Messenger a whole lot easier than I do Discord, but I, I, can, I, I, I can change. I know from my perspective, the West March monarchy has its own Facebook chat and we're not putting that on Discord. So that's just like... Um... Yeah, not everything needs to be public. Yeah, no. yeah it, it, that way it, and Discord work. I mean, Discord is pretty good because it keeps a better, a good track record. But uh, yeah, no, I it, I I think we're. Or we could think okay. about it, and we could decide. Yeah, next week. let's let's put it all. Let's 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 think about it a little because okay. I think that's fine. Okay, this isn't a crucial topic. Right. So when is next time? Uh, we don't have any other topics, right? Is this our? Um, the only other thing I topic? was going to talk about was like hard copy flyers and advertising, but we've gone an hour and a half, which is really long for us. How about if we put that off till next time? I'm five, five, five with that. Thank you. <laughs> we got a whole lot of accomplished this meeting, and we got. Uh, I think yeah. we're. I think we're starting off really on the right foot. So absolutely. So, um, David, you said you've got like weeknights, basically. What? When is good for everybody? What What day and time is good for everybody? I'm good uh, every, uh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna push things. I'm good every, any night this time. This is gonna be a special occasion. So I will, I will move plans if I need to. Um, I can't move Saturday. I can't move Thursday. Um, this time works for me on Sunday. It would work on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday as well. So this time works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I work, uh, yeah, I work till yeah. six, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I can't meet gotcha. till 730, which is way too late yeah. to start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meeting, yeah. So um, it's weekends and not all, you know, depends on what's going on for me. So well, how about we, another Sunday? Nights are... Sun, Sunday at six works. How about Does Sunday, April 17th or the 24th? Do we want to? Kind of push it out maybe a little bit and give our um experiments an entire um, month to work when is the bod meeting set up it is uh saturday the 23rd at 6 p.m right okay sunday would work you want to do sunday the 24th at 6 p.m six good enough for everybody or do we want to do it earlier six fine. is fine for me okay I mean, I could do earlier. I don't know how we say. came up with, with six, but yeah, park days in that. When is Qualls? Oh, I Ryan. don't know. Ryan, when is Qualls? Um, During the time of the crown, the month of the crown, of course. Yeah, what's, I'll have to dig up what's a, the day? this announced post. Two weeks before elections, right? Okay, so, okay, so hold on. So coronation elections is the 21st. So that's May 7th or 8th. Okay, so April 24th is fine. Yeah, I think yeah, the so, has a calendar officially. I'm yeah, thinking. do we do we want to meet a little earlier so we're not pushing late on Sunday night or we cool? Uh, okay. Uh, Qualls is the 1st of May. 1st of May, there you go. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let's do five o'clock because that seems like where. Thank you. Do we know yeah, where Pulse is, is yet? Uh, not off the top of my head. I'll confer with the regents. Yeah, I think we had a bid from um, Clockwork Spires. Another one? Hi. Okay. Yeah, I well, I think Bacchus is bidding for everything right now. <laughs> it's yeah, supposed to be. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's not for this meeting. So we're going to meet um, yeah. Sunday the 24th at, do you want to do 530? Sure. Yeah, 530 works for me. Okay. Um, and then since the BOD meeting will be just the night before, um, I will continue to host it on Zoom. All right. And I will record um, it. And I will try to remember to record it earlier than I did tonight. And uh, put it up on YouTube and post the link on the West March page. Perfect. We're good. And, uh, I will rewatch it after it's posted and transcribe it uh, into meeting notes. You don't get enough the first time you get to go through it all over <laughs> again. All over again. Um, and before we disconnect, uh, Brian and David, what time do you want to meet tomorrow to attempt to get these ads up and running? Would two o'clock work? So tomorrow uh, morning, I'm driving down to Santa Clara to deal with Wells Fargo yet again. Yay! I wish you success. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to Santa Clara too. Uh, Hey, you could meet me at the bank and say you're also on the board of directors. <laughs> and why are they so stupid? Would that help? Because I will no. be in tomorrow. I Funny. can show Nothing up if I help. need to. No. <laughs> Nothing will help. Nothing will help. Six, ask them, can we get this written down what we need on letterhead? No, they don't do that. Uh, written instructions right. on letterhead? No. Why are we having so much trouble? We can't get official instructions. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording. You okay. guys can continue to talk. Um, okay, we're just setting up time. So would two o'clock tomorrow 